welcome to episode 4 of the Lake Farm Hill Climb. Early in the game, you're only going to be able to afford cheaper cars. And you'd reasonably expect that cheaper cars wouldn't be very good. In the last episode, we looked at the Mahir Supra, and it lived up to those expectations perfectly. So, is there any vehicle which you can buy early in the game, which is better? Actually, there is, and this one will surprise you. It is, as we'd say here in Scotland, a magic wheat car, and it's actually cheaper than the Supra. The Mackie Guy, my mom. It's a truly minimalist little thing, a tin box with quite a lot of glass, wrapped around two seats, a rear engine, and virtually nothing else. It's cheap, and it's honest about it. It looks cheap. There's no pretensions here. The interior is similarly simple. It's beautifully modeled, model, but there's actually not a lot to it. But now I'm going to do a thing I haven't done in previous reviews, just to show off one of the Mai Mai's great features. I'm going to spin it round the car park to show off its extraordinarily tight turning circle. Note also the movement of the door. This is a city car designed for tight spaces. The door doesn't swing out, but folds up. This is very thoughtful design. It drives off without a lot of fuss. There's none of the wheel spin noise of the Supra, and the engine note is much less harsh. It also sticks to the road very well. The little jink across the road in a moment here is driving. Not a fault of the car. And overshooting the bottom of the turn here is also driving. Once on the climb, driver ham-fistedness is really the main problem. Because of the tight turning circle, the steering is very sensitive, and movements of the joystick, which would mean fairly gentle turn in other vehicles I've been driving, now mean quite a drop. Coming out of this third pair, I've messed up so much that the car develops a harmonic pitching under acceleration which is partly down to the short wheelbase. And after recovering from that, I come into the fourth part of the in here too fast, resulting in spin. But the fifth air pin is much more tidy, and this demonstrates that once you get used to it, this car actually drives quite well. Although I'm still moving the joystick too far, the bend at the top of the hill is negotiated without difficulty, and virtually no sliding at all. Acceleration isn't brisk compared to other get cars we've looked at. <laughs> but nevertheless, the peak at just over 100 miles an hour indicated on this first straight is not poor. And when I cut across the gravel here, the car doesn't slide as the Supron did. On the finishing straight, it peaks at over 120 which is faster than I would want to go in something which offers this little protection. 
So that's the Magic Weave Mackie Guy Mai Mai. Cheap, quirky, hardly stylish, but extremely maneuverable and handles reasonably well. You would do well to buy this as soon as you can. It's a hell of a lot better than the Heller.